Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to download and install Hot 4D for Cinema 4D. Now this is something that will be covered both for Windows and for Mac users. Now Windows users are going to have an extra step that I'm also going to cover here, but the first step is all the Mac users are going to have to do and it'll be almost just like this, except they'll have to port that over for their Mac folder system. But um, without further ado, to get the Hot 4D plugin for Cinema 4D, you're going to first have to go to Valkyrie.com. And you're going to then, this is their main website, and you're going to click on Hot 4D. And you're going to click Learn More right there. And you're going to scroll down, and you're going to download two folders. If you're a Mac user, you only need to download this one. If you're a Windows user like me, you're going to have to download this one and this one. So you're going to click right here. It's going to start that download. Now depending on how your internet is, it might take a little slower or longer, and then we're going to download this one. There's the next one. That one's going to take a little bit longer. And here we go. I'm going to pull over this folder, here my downloads page right here, and you can see we have Hot 4D Alpha and the FFTWDLL. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, but this folder is important. We're not going to worry about this guy now though. For Windows users, we're not going to worry. Mac users, we're not going to worry yet. Only for Windows users, we're going to think about this later. But the first thing we need to do is we can just minimize this right here. And the first thing we need to do is open up Cinema 4D. So we're just going to launch this. It's going to pull up. I'm going to continue with that. I'm in the beta for iRay, and it's um, very fun. Here we go. Now this is up. We're going to do Edit, Preferences. We clicked Edit up here, and then we went down to Preferences. So we just click Edit, Preferences. It'll pull up this dialog box. And what we're going to do is Open Preferences Folder. This is the best way to find that folder. Now what it does is it opens this up here. So I'm going to close this and open it back up to show you. There it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to double click on Plugins right there. And we're just going to click up in this empty box, and we're going to right click and do Copy. Right now, we're good to go. I'm just going to back out once, and I'm going to let this sit here. I'm just going to pull this to the side. We don't need to close this. What we do need to do, though, is here's our Downloads folder again, and here we have Hot 4D Alpha. What we're going to do is we'll right-click this, and we're going to click Extract All. Now, inside this dialog here, we're going to erase this, and we're going to right-click and do Paste. That's why we copied that directory. Now we're going to click Extract All. Now that that process is done, you'll see over here in the plugins folder under the preferences just where we copied that. If I go back in there, Hot 4D is in here. Now we're going to have to close Cinema 4D and we also, if you're a Mac user, you're completely finished. You just close Cinema 4D, reboot it back up, and it's going to be good to go. Now for a Windows user, what we need to do is we're going to close Cinema 4D and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, your local disk or whichever drive has your um, Cinema 4D application installed on, may that be C or E. For me it's C, so I'm going to click on my local C drive, then I'm going to click Program Files, and then I'm going to go to Maxon. Right here I'm going to go to Cinema 4D R16, and this is it. This is as far as we need to go. I'm going to take this directory, click right here, I'm going to right click and copy. This is as far as we need to go. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder and now I'm going to take the FFTW file right here. I'm going to take this, I'm going to right click and do extract all. Again we're going to erase this. Again we're going to right click and click paste. Then we're going to extract it all and it's going to say, because this is going to need administrator permissions, we're going to click continue. Remember this is only required and we're going to have to do this for every file. So there's three files and this is the last time I'll have to do it here. That's all three times. We need to make sure this is um, all its administrative positions, permissions, so we got all that set up. And if I back up, remember this is under Local Disk, Program Files, Maxon, Cinema 4D R16. We have these three new files, they're new lib files, .dd, .dll. And with these three files, it will now work. It will not work on Windows unless you have these three files here. And then the plugin in the plugins folder under preferences in Cinema 4D. That's the full process. So right now we're done. We have all this done. We just have to remember we have the Hot 4D Alpha in the plugins folder for Cinema 4D and the FFTWDLL file in the Cinema 4D directory that I showed you there underneath your local disk. But right now we're done. We can close this. We're going to launch Cinema 4D back up. You are going to have to make sure to reboot Cinema 4D after you got in there. So since I already had it closed, it's okay. It's going to boot up, pull these all in, and it's going to open up. And here we go. So if I go to Plugins, here is Hot 4D. So we can click that. 
We can create a plane. We'll put the pot 4D underneath of it as a modifier, and we can then, there we go. Everything is um, ready to roll. You have all your settings. You can uh, increase wind direction, increase the intensity of that, and um, put more like polygons in here. So we can probably get a little bit of higher res of a sim. And there you go. There is Hot 4D and how to install it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you found it helpful and you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you disliked it, please leave a thumbs down. And please leave a comment if you have any questions or anything you'd like to um, say or ask about this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.